is going on everybody it's your girl cherish Walteezy back with another one today's video is going over the release of the air jordan 4 midnight navies one of the most hype releases of 2022 and it's going down this weekend there's some information we got to talk about because these shoes may be a little harder to get than we expected but before we get into today's video if you're new to the channel do me a huge favor hit that subscribe button for your girl also go ahead and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video and check out these kicks so as i mentioned this weekend on october the 29th which is on saturday at 9 a.m central time the release of the air jordan 4 midnight navy is going down guys these things are going to be releasing in a full family size run so we have men's sizes retailing for 210 dollars grade school retailing for 160 dollars preschool retailing for 90 dollars and then toddler retailing for 70 us dollars the air jordan 4 midnight navy is pretty similar to the air jordan 4 white cement that we saw released back in 2016 but this updated shoe does have hits of midnight navy along with fire red accents throughout the entire shoe honestly i think this one gives it a little more spark with the midnight navy i mean the white cement is an iconic shoe going for like over 600 dollars for resale but this shoe is pretty iconic as well it's supposed to be a shoe that goes well with the fall and autumn fill Besides the Midnight Navy and the fire red accents that we see on these kicks, these shoes do come with the original trimmings and they also come with the original wings that allow you to set up the laces in the way that you see fit for these kicks. And one of my favorite parts of the shoe is the tongue where we see a Midnight Navy jump man and also that flight in that fire red right under it. It just grabs your attention and it's definitely going to be a shoe that people are going to want to get their hands on, especially because it looks so similar to those white cements. So so if you guys want to get your hands on these things it is very very important to enter the raffles before they close i know i say this on all the other releases but once we talk later in the video you guys are going to see why it is so important to enter the raffles as soon as possible so some of the raffles that are still open for these things are hibbit sports sns Foot Locker and Champs. Now, I do also believe or am predicting that there may be exclusive or early access on finish line where you can try to reserve a pair there. Don't quote me, but typically we do see that, you know, a couple of days into the week when we get closer to the release day. So hoping that that happens. Now, if you guys do not hit on any raffles, it is time to try to grind on the release day. There are quite a few locations that are gonna be releasing these things at 9 a.m. Central Time. As always, we have sneakers releasing them as a first come, first serve. Hibbit Sports, Champs, Foot Locker, Dick Sporting Goods, as I mentioned, Finish Line, JD Sports, Takeout NY, DTLR, Snipes US, YCMC, Cheek, and Nordstrom. And as I always mention, make sure to check these locations to see if they have a queue. Most of the places with a queue do open the queue up about 15 to 10 ish minutes before the release happens. So make sure you're checking so you can go ahead and get into queue. And then once you get into the queue at those locations, make your way over to sneakers at 9 a.m. or a little before 9 a.m. so you're ready for the first come, first serve at 9 a.m. With that being said, as I mentioned, sneakers is a first come, first serve. So that means you have to be ready to go before 9 a.m. Central Time. You have to enter as quickly as possible. If you're going to try to go for multiple accounts, maybe try to have a friend or family member assist you with entering. Make sure your information is logged in. That's the main thing. And make sure you use Apple Pay and the Apple Wallet is already filled out and ready to go, guys. It's always about being prepared before 9 a.m. because you gotta be as quick as possible when it's first come first serve. So as I mentioned earlier, it may be a little harder to get our hands on the Air Jordan 4 Midnight Navies. Originally, I think there was a prediction of like 200,000 or so stock. I'm not 100% sure if that's correct, but there were rumors that it was about that high of stock. But as we know, later in the year, we did have the Memphis, Tennessee uh, theft that happened with Nike's you know, trucks that were parked. I did have a video about that, so make sure to go check it out if you haven't already. But a lot of inventory was stolen out of those trucks, and some of that inventory were the Air Jordan 4 Midnight Navies. So with that being said, there is a huge concern that there may have been a lot of stock of these kicks that have already been stolen, which means that's less stock for us to try to get on Saturday, which is a little concerning because I feel like these shoes were already gonna be kind of hard to get since they're one of the top releases of 2022. And the theft in Memphis may have made it even harder for us. I feel like it's no longer in the hundreds of thousands in regards to stock. I definitely think it's less than 100,000 for sure, if not, 
really low but I don't know how low obviously I don't have the stock numbers at this time but I do believe that the Memphis Tennessee you know theft may have had some effect on the stock numbers for these kicks now did Nike go back into their warehouse and start kicking out cranking out some more of these kicks who knows maybe I definitely think that they have the tools and resources to be able to do so but did they actually do that we don't know so I'd love to hear you guys' feedback on what you think in regards to if the Memphis thefts that took so much inventory from Nike's trucks, if that will affect the release that we will see of the Air Jordan for Midnight Navies. Do you guys think it's going to be very hard to get these shoes? All right, guys, so just want to get on here and do a quick video about the release of the Air Jordan for Midnight Navies. Definitely going to be a super duper hype release for this year, one of the top of 2022. Definitely going to have to try to get my hands on a pair of these things. Things, but I did want to let you guys know one how to cop these things and two that these shoes may be just a little more limited than we think so make sure you guys are ready to go on the release day make sure if you did like today's video go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your girl that's all that I have for today's video I will catch you in the next one